Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Fix that. Um, a tour better be destroys Joe Smith Jr. in less than two rounds. Uh, before we uh, break that down, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Uh, Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please like, share, and subscribe our other channels, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Okay, let's get in at Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Let's get into uh, this weekend's big fight. Um, unification fight, light heavyweight division, WBO champ, uh, Ator Betterby, uh Joe Smith Jr. Um, fights in his home state. Against Tor Better Beef gets absolutely annihilated. Now, most people would have picked Better Beef to win. You know, I, I think that was the popular opinion. We picked Better Beef to win. Um, that wasn't a shock. What was a shock is how easily he dismantled Joe Smith Jr. Joe Smith Jr. was trying to do what he was supposed to do. He was trying to use the jab. He was trying to overwhelm him. He was trying to you know set up right hands from, from the long range. But he was, you know, Joe Smith needed to either be all the way outside or all the way inside, and he kept getting caught with the left hook in the mid-range. Uh, better be just demolished him. Better be, you know, Joe Smith was trying to stay on the outside. He, he was not able to keep Better Beef off of him, and he wasn't able to get all the way inside and 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 bang away to the body, and he kept getting caught in that mid-range. Better be executed that to perfection. Um, that's the best performance I've seen from Better Be. Um you, know, you go back to the Vaznik fight um, that was late 2019, so that's almost three years ago already, believe it or not. He's only had two fights since then, one in 2021, well, two in 2021. Um, a guy named Adam Dennis, who he destroyed in 10 rounds, and then the Marcus Brown fight, eh, eh. You know, it was a eh kind of performance. So he hasn't really looked like like a killer, like a stone cold killer since that night that 2019 fight. Now he hasn't been extremely active. You know, he had almost a year and a half off in between those two fights. Um, but this was a really, really good performance. Um at 37, he's not shot by a long shot. He's probably the best guy in the division. Now we just need to get that Bavol fight. Like we know we're getting Canelo um Glofkin. That's that's for sure. That's confirmed. So we're getting that fight. That means Bavol doesn't have a date. <clears throat> well, this this lines up perfectly. Um, let, let's get Bavol versus Better Beef end of the year. Uh, Better Beef versus Bavol. Um, I don't know. Let's get let's get top rank. Let's get ESPN. Um, let's get <coughs> the zone. To get Eddie Hearn um, all in a room. Let's make this happen. There's really no reason for it not to happen. There's no really other intriguing fight at 75 that's easier to be made or a better fight, right? Like, this is the fight, and there's no reason not to. You look at the other names. You have Gilberto Ramirez. Now, it's being reported that Gilberto Ramirez is pursuing his... He has He's the mandatory for a revolt in the WBL. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, WBA, I apologize, WBA. I don't know, know where he'll get with that. He is owed the fight. I do think the WBA will, um, you know, he'll have to he'll probably take step-aside money or whatever, but he's still going to want that step-aside money to go fight someone else. Uh, but he wants that Bavol fight. Um, you know, it, 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 look, I'm not saying Gilberto Ramirez is going to win. He's probably not going to win that fight. But if he did, it would set up a Canelo fight. Like, let's be realistic. And that'd be a huge fight. Um, so he'd get... Either step aside money or the Bavol fight, which would, if he won, which I wouldn't pick him to win, would set up a Canelo fight. So I understand why Gilberto Ramirez is doing this. I don't know what Golden Boy can, how they can kind of force his hand into making um, him accept WBA a, 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 a mandate this. I, I don't think they're going to. I think they'll, if they do, the, 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 
does it look um the law of step aside money you know um the law and better be the law of step aside money um will be forward to wait this fight out and uh Let Bavall fight better be for all, all the belts. It would be another belt, 168, 175, 140. Well, I know 140 is now vacant. 135, 140. And we're going to get there probably with 147. Uh, so it looks like we're really getting one one champion in each weight class. So this is this is exciting stuff. You know, there hasn't been a time in the four belt era with this many guys are unifying all the belts. So this is good news. It means you're getting good fights. It means you're finding out who the best fighter in the weight class is. Um, and look. I think Better Beef, what do you guys think? I think Better Beef would destroy Bavol. I don't want to say destroy him, but I do think he'd stop him. You know, I don't I don't think it would be a Joe Smith beat down. Uh, but I, I don't think Bavol is strong enough. I think Bavol is undersized for 175. Right? He's got good pop. He's not a power, you know, he's not a power, he's not a power hitter by any means. Uh, but you know, Bavol's got good pop. I I don't think he can keep um better beef off him. I don't think he's strong enough. I don't think he has the power to do it. I think Better be able to eventually get on the inside to get in the mid range and 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 beat him up. Um, although Bavol may do well for a round, it might be one of those things where Bavol is winning till he's not. Um, but better better be if it's just a wrecking ball. Better be better be shooting up your pound for pound list. I, I have to redo mine now after this performance because he's got to shoot up the list. I don't know where you put him ahead of Jamel Charlo. I don't know, but this is becoming interesting because he's really shooting up that list. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, where do you guys rank Better Beef? Uh, do you think Better Beef Bavol will happen next? Or where do you think they go? Do you think Gilberto Ramirez can force this fight with Bavol? Would, would, would Ramirez accept step aside money and then fight for all the belts? Um, or, you know, would he say, no, I'm taking this Bavol fight no matter what because I believe it sets up a Canelo fight should I win? No, I don't think he's going to win. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments. Are you as impressed with Better Beef? Wait, 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 answer this one. Who would you rank higher pound for pound at this point? Better Beef or Little Charlo? Let me know what you guys think about that. It's an interesting question. Uh, thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, it is June 20th, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.